Yes. Yo, welcome back to another DFO video where today I'll be covering step by step how to reach level 110 with the assistance of the fast leveling event and the focus points during each milestone. So this video is basically intended for new accounts or returnees. So without further ado, let's get into it. When you first load into the game, pick your event character. You're going to click this button right here. You're just going to go into your subclasses and you get to choose whatever class you want to play. After entering with your character, you want to press escape and then you want to go into this explorer short key right here. And then you're going to go into this tab called adventure where you will recruit some mercenaries and auto deploy them while you're doing your story quests. Receiving this currency will help you later down the road. Do the tutorial and then do the auto deploy. You want to click on this Merc uh, tab here, auto deploy and just like that. And now what you want to do is go through the scenario. So there's going to be this play guide here at the top. Uh, you can see tutorial, flying glories, and then sky tower, etc. You want to follow this pathway. Uh, it's pretty intuitive, and you basically can't miss it. This is going to fast level you all the way to level 100. But there's going to be some milestones that you do want to take advantage of when you reach those levels. And so when you're leveling, you're going to get a ton of new skills. You want to open up your skill tree by pressing K, which is the short key. And you want to assign, and you want to assign and level up your skills or experiment with new uh, skills here. All right, and the event we want to take advantage of is called the level 100 warm up event. And basically, every 10 levels or every five levels, they're going to give you a bunch of new rewards and new incentives to keep on leveling and to keep on gearing your character. This might be overwhelming to new players as there's a lot of stuff and a lot of rewards that are given. But essentially, I'll let you guys know what the best milestones are. Um, you're, you're going to get all of the milestones anyways. But you do want to focus on um, using some of these milestones. For example, once you reach level 10, you want to open up this one here, plus 10 reinforced growing Phoenix weapon. And that's going to give you a free weapon that will level up with you as you level up your character. So you want to equip this one. This, going, this one's basically going to steamroll you through the entire game, uh, the entire leveling process. Level 20, um, you can grab it, but ignore it. So just leave it in your inventory. Uh, you don't have to worry about this one. Level 30, you do want to grab this one uh, specifically for the clear cube fragments. So clear cube fragments are used um, for some of the higher advanced skills. So at level 30, you're going to be unlocking what is called cube skills, and they're going to be using clear cube fragments to activate it. So giving them uh giving you guys a free 500 clear cube fragments is going to be really really big uh the silver safe upgrade and the potion you can ignore uh level 40 you can also ignore uh just be sure to grab it and then just leave it in your safe level 50 is also a very big milestone as well it's going to give you a growing halidome armor so this one's going to be uh, your gear your armor and you do want to grab this and use it and another clear cube fragments here. So you're going to have a total of, of 1000 clear cube fragments. At level 60, you can also ignore this one, uh, grab it, but just leave it in your safe. Uh, these are handy. The, the ones that I'm telling you to ignore, these are handy. But uh, for now, if it's too overwhelming, just uh, leave it in your safe for now. At level 70, master contract package. You do want to grab this and use it as well. This is going to give you a lot of Sarah shop pay to win contracts and it's going to give you for seven days. So be sure to grab that. This one's going to help your character just be stronger um, in the general sense. I won't get into it, but do grab it and use it. It's going to help you along the way. At level 80, you're going to get to uh, tokens and more potions. You can ignore this, grab it, but ignore it. All right, and now you want to keep leveling and doing the MSQs up until level 90. And that's where the first milestone uh, reward that actually matters will be. Um, at level 90, you'll have access to free 3x three talisman boxes and uh, a bunch of runes to go with them. If you're unsure what talismans to choose or what they kind of do, just hold on to them for now and I'll explain them later. The next milestone is level 95, and this is when you get your free set of epics and a plus. 11 epic weapon this will help power through the rest of the scenarios as the enemies do have a little bit more hp on them um, just because plus 95 is uh scaling with hp so you're going to open up these boxes like this uh, choose your weapon and then you want to equip all of these epic armor and gear
continue with the main story quest and once you reach level 100 clear any remaining quests and it will bring you to the new uh 110 content scenario so to do that you press f1 which you open up your story quest and you're going to click a clear quest button now fast leveling is officially over and you will have access to everything in the game like raids um farming dungeons and other things like that but for now we're going to stick to leveling and continue with your scenarios note that at level 100 you're going to get your last rewards from the event and that's going to be a free mythic plus a buff swap weapon and you're going to want to open up your buff swap window and then equip all of your fragmented abyss set and you should be at a uh, plus five you want to choose the enroached abyss option for your special equipment slots because that will give plus three to your buff skill and currently you're not min maxing anything so plus three is very very good at this level and for the level 100 mythic selection box you want to choose the mythic top which is the land of the primor primordial beginning and that's going to be a huge gain in your fame and now that you're at level 100 you can talk to runa in your room and she'll give you access to a rental service which is basically a full set of juiced out epics and enchants so equip all of it you can click your rent and equip and then you want to swap in your mythic top that you just redeemed and you will look something a little bit like this at this point, there's also a daily that you should keep track of once you hit level 100, and that's going to be your daily missions that rewards you with uh, level 105 mats, materials, and a pot for a chance at a level 105 epics. You want to do this every day, so you're going to click on here, which is your DFO mission, and you want to finish all your daily missions, and there's also a weekly section that you also want to do to get your weekly mission completion reward. All right, and now we're going to go back into the scenarios or your MSQs, and we're going to try to hit level 110. From this point on, there's going to be new materials that are going to be dropping, and these are very, very important to pick up. So you want to pick up everything um, from these scenarios from here on out. You're going to be getting materials such as Ryan cores. So you're going to get Ryan cores, and these are materials used for protected reinforcements and therefore buying powerful energies for refinements. And if you don't know what those are, those are basically materials to increase your weapon's power. For example, I have a plus 12 weapon with an 8 refinement. Another material that you'll be dropping a lot of are ominous crystals, and the better version is the resonating ominous crystals, which are uh, account bound, so you can switch them between characters. But for now, you want to keep them all on one character, and these materials are used to buy a level 105 epic box. Most of the NPCs in the level 110 cap, they're going to have a shop, and this is the item that you want to be saving for. So, this is what the ominous crystals are used uh, to buy, and this is going to give you a selectable level 105 epic equipment. Another material that's going to be dropping a lot are frost crystal shards or sparkling frost crystal shards right so it's going to be these ones or these ones and these are used to buy enchants and level 105 unique gear but pretty much these are useless um during this event because you have the rental gear which is much much better than the uniques right and the enchants you're going to have a ton of free enchants that are much better than uh these boxes here so uh pick these up but know that they are not useful at the moment. And then last material that's super, super important to pick up are the golden barrels. So you're gonna have golden barrels and you're gonna have the untradeable golden barrels. What these materials are used for is for growing or transferring options of your level 105 epics. Because in this cap, the epics um, are based on kind of like a exp system where the more exp or fodder you feed into them the stronger they get so golden bears will allow you the ability to do that and during your level progression from level 100 to level 110 uh, these scenarios or msqs can drop uh, level 105 epics and these are very very good but they are not usable at the moment because your rental gear will be a bit stronger until you get 12 pieces 12 different pieces of level 105 uh epic so for now if you drop any of these bad boys just put them into your silver safe and continue leveling there are some milestone levels that you should be um, hitting and then doing the clear quest on them so the, uh, you want to clear quests after reaching level 101 
103, 105, and 108. Uh, if you want to read the story, then you don't have to clear the quest as the uh, EXP difference is marginally indifferent. So, um, you know, clear quest is not very necessary, but it does provide a little bit more of EXP boost. And if you're a brand new account returnee without Neo Premium, which is basically a pay to win add on to give you more fatigue points so you can uh, do more dungeons, it'll take you about three and a half days worth of fatigue points. Here's a tip for new players. Uh, once you have access to the auction hall, you can press B, which is a short key for the auction hall, and you can type in fatigue. And you're going to buy an elixir fatigue recovery, and that's going to give you 30 fatigue points. That's really all you can buy for external uh, fatigue points, especially if you didn't play before level 110. You didn't stack up, you know, external fatigue pots from Neo Premium and other events like that. So this is kind of your only source for um, extra fatigue points here. All right. And now after three or four days of hard work and tears and sweat, congratulations, you're now level 110. And if you want to know how to progress post level 110 and start getting gear and starting getting epic gear, I'll meet you guys in the next video. Until then, see you next time.